Okay, again, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are. I mean, we start in this session with, I mean, Zachary Su, uh, he's from Benin, we'll introduce him right now. Dr. Zachary Suhu is the director of the Benin Fisheries and Oceanographical Research Institute of the Benin Center for Scientific Research and Innovation. He's a professor and researcher at the Department of Zoology um, at the Fast Uwak Aborne Kalav University and the chairman of the working group on the Mersal Fish Stock Assessment in the South, South Atlantic Zone, COPAS FAO. Dr. Soho is a member of the Ad Hoc Committee on Science and Technology of the Abidjan Convention. He's also a focal point of the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission, IOC UNESCO and IOD, e, National Focal Point for IOC Africa, National Coordinator of the OD in Africa Program of the IOC, and he's responsible a manager of fisheries and oceanographic data, uh, as well as member of the United Nations Group of Experts for the drafting of the World Ocean Assessment One and Two. I mean, I could go on for a long time. Dr. Zachary is very well known. I had the opportunity to, to know more about him yesterday in a meeting in Brussels. He was, everybody was talking that they not only like Dr. Zachary, but also they like a lot the presentation. So without any further ado, please, Dr. Zachary, so who can you your presentation. Please write your questions and answers in the Q and A box, and then after the presentation, we have time to interact with the audience. Thank you. Good morning. Good uh, good evening, everybody. As uh, Jose said, my name is uh, Sol Zakari. I I want to present your uh, institute and what we are doing in our institutes. I start by presentation of my country, Benin. Benin is situated in West, uh, West Africa. See the situation here. Is it, we have border Togo, we are middle in Togo and uh, Nigeria. Then we have uh, 10 million, uh, 10 million and eight, seven, 749 population in 2005. And we have our superficies, uh, superficies uh, one, 114, 7, 763 kilometers square. We have a coastline, it's a small country, the coastline is uh, 125 meters, uh, kilometer. We have gross domestic product GT base it was is uh, a seven point point seventy billion US in two thousand and five is growing now to is uh, going down because of, of uh, some problem to eight is is growing up to eight point fifty eight billion. US in 2007. My institute is created under the Minister for Health Education. And since, uh, 2000, since 2008, and we have this institute before, at the beginning, we start off with the National Oceanographic Committee. And we move to a center of oceanography, and now we are Institute of Fishery and Oceanology Research of Benin. Our mission is to conduct research to environmental knowledge, marine, larger lake, and coastal for its preservation and protection. Implementation of system of rational and exploitation renewable and non-renewable aquatic resource, both living and non-living resources. We have some attribution is to design 
develop a national and fishery ocean research program and ensure coordination, coordination, execution, and control. Identify and, and identify problems that require resource and training in marine and science, science adjacent and coastal area. Promote all technology and device that country uh, can de de to develop through the, through the enhancement of aquatic environment and centralize, promote the exchange, public and dissemination of fishery and ocean results and make recommendations for, for this purpose. It's also to ensure scientific and technical information and popularization in the various uh, social, social professional and cultural cycle concern. Assist in development and implementation of uh, regional international fishery and ocean science program consist, uh, consistent with national development goal to carry out research production expertise in the field of it competition for benefits of external public and private, private partner. We have this organ, organ gram is a small institute. We, are, we have Department of Environment, Aquatic Resources and Information and uh, Scientific Vigorization. Now under this, we have two, lab, two laboratory, laboratory of uh, aquatic and environment and coastal dynamic. Research activity we are conduct now is uh, onset. We have onset data. We have onset is, is uh, a, a sensor which is, collect, which is collecting the you know, data in the, all of the temperature data and also uh, salinity, salinity data. We collect the data on marine so sea surface data and also in the, uh, the uh, lake, Lokwe, our lake, uh, the main lake in Benin, Lake Lokwe. And we have Buyo data also. We have MSK data and we have camera data, values of coastal line. We have some multiparameter parameter data, that's physical, physical, chemical data, uh, parameter and uh, uh, temperature, uh, conductivity, uh, salinity, and so on. We have fishery and citation data also. Now we are start working on uh, uh, all tourists data, sea concomber. We have sargassum data too. And littoral, we have also, we have some program. For example, with GIE, with uh, 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 IRB, France, for example, under this program, we have a, we have a network in a, our in our subregion laboratory of Côte d'Ivoire. We have Côte d'Ivoire and uh, a, over country by Nigeria, Ghana, and Togo. And we have a regional a data bank in our country. Under this program uh, of uh, a, a GIE. So then we collect this data since uh, 2005. We have data series till to today. Then we have we develop some scale, some pro some product. For example, we have this product from SSC data. This is a product of SSD for in two for two uh, 2006. We have also physical, chemical, coastal, water parameter, for example, the comparison with uh, say some country data we collected. We have publication on this uh, 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 data, for example, for these uh, activities to compare the data what we have upwelling season in uh, our subregion by country by country. This you see here is a buio we have. Before now, we have some problem on vandalism, because of that, we, we, we already remove this buoy from uh, from the sea now, because some fishermen or some some uh, boats they are going they are going to to break down this uh, buoy, and now we stop it. We stop to to work with this buoy we remove it from the sea. Then we have this from with buoy data. We have marine meteorology. 
and uh, we have oceanography data also. Marine meteorology, we have temp uh, temperature, wind direction and speed, precipitation, humidity, and air pressure. With oceanography, we have all, uh, we have current, turbidity, and SST. And we have, uh, all we have uh, maximum uh, uh, significant uh, uh, data, uh, speed and current, uh, speed and direct direction. Well, we are working also in coastal line dynamic study. And we see here we have some station we have along the Benin coast from Nigeria border to for, from Nigeria border to Togo border. And in this time in, on this season, if we have a periodic for three months, we have we, we do the survey uh, three times, uh, four times in the uh, in the year to compare with the, how the, dyna the dynamic of the coastal, uh, of dynamic coastal. You see here, we, we are here, we use uh, theodolites here to do the work and somebody is there from the sea and we can with dynamic of, uh, we see here how it's moving from year to year, how we have. And today in our, in our country, we have some, uh, we have some spike for protection in the east, in the east part of, uh, of our uh, ports, main ports. We have a spike, we have seven, seven, we have 10 spike with uh, the uh, World Bank. And oh, after this, uh, the last, the la after the last uh, spike, we have, uh, uh, so to 40 meters of sun is going at the, per year. Then it's very difficult, you know, that for, to protect uh, our coast, is, uh, cost of, to protect the coast against erosion. When you protect somewhere, you are just moving, you are just moving the problem to another part because we have the wind, uh, the current direction is southeast because that's the sun. When you, you, you make some spikes, spike is return the sun in the west part, and the, the, we have deficient of uh, uh, east part. That is the problem. Also, we have a camera data. This camera, this camera is here. In the with is with navy is the two of the navy. And we have it to, to see how uh, the coastal dynamic of the coastal. And we have pressure here, you see, so this, uh, 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 this is a wide of uh, the, uh, the, right with the video camera uh, looking for. And we have this. We are going to we, we make assessment of this of, of the coastal line in, in, in this uh, uh, coast. The data recorded, there is just for daytime. And we don't have a camera which can walk in the, uh, in the uh, nighttime. We don't have this, this uh, camera. Then the main, main success, we have a regional coastal network with, with uh, a, a neighbor country. We have also regional data bank, capacity building, the master and PhD. Some students come to, to our institute to give some training when they have, they need the data, we make available data for them to work. And we have some collaboration with uh, some university in our subregion. With, uh, we have so we have some program, for example, the NESA and GMS program and COPAS, CCAF uh, program with FAO, etc. Collaboration with some NGO to uh, National Oceanographic uh, Association. For example, we was involved in regional program, Scientific York Africa, UNESCO, and scientific, have some scientific uh, publication. We have some results, CISA service, the, 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 Sea surface temperature, we have this. In, you know that in our coastal, we have upwelling uh, periods is uh, in August. 
And we have we have the same thing for for example when we make a comparison with uh, Cote d'Ivoire is, 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 is Cote d'Ivoire in the same period is the same period with some day uh, a, 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 a hand. And also we have bathymetry in the continent for a section of continental shape. For example, this is uh, our channel channel communicate for with uh, Lac Nokwe to the ocean. And we have bathymetry we are doing with uh, uh, eco sonda. And national program plan for our 2000, 2020, 2023 is of, analysis of dynamic, hydrodynamic and the morphodynamic process for monitoring coastal erosion and pollution. Collection B, monthly data, a nine or start a nine station along a coast from we continue our, uh, our work we are doing for to assess the, the coastal erosion. Then we have to improve of the performance of fish made by local, uh, uh, from local product instead of marine fell to, to that fell on the coast of Benin of a contribution to seaweed, seaweed that wash up on the coastal of on the coast of Benin and over. Output of this various one ocean day, for example, we visit uh, the beach, we have a cleaning of the company of the company of students, for example, to awareness a presentation of him with the students to uh, to sensitize this uh, young uh, generation to a uh, coastal uh, marine uh, issue. And we have uh, also established the, the distribution of uh, fish with bathymetry and the first temperature distribution of fish, actually with uh, the support of the IOC UNESCO. For example, we have forecasting uh, ocean states. We use uh, with a tomahawk prediction uh, to make a prediction on what uh, we have uh, the state of the of the uh, 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 sea station, weather station in the three days, for example, we do we do it, and also this uh, is some sample we have. We have here a summary of what we have here other significative uh, heads we have here, and we use the wind and the tide also to focus in this uh, focusing of the, the, to make a prediction along our coast. And we are also working with the uh, uh, mangrove area. And we have, we know that uh, demographic uh, causes of the degradation of, of uh, uh, mangrove uh, forest. We have a demogra the demographic growth situation, situation of coastal region. We have dust increasing anthropogenic and pressure mangrove cutting and overfishing. We have low public awareness and lack of control by competent service because now you know our population living in mangrove area on the around our lakes. There, most of them they are not uh, grammatic population, and it's very difficult to convince them. Is uh, we convince them to go to assess situation this situation because you notice that. The mangrove forest is decreased, and we have decrease in fish production to oyster and mollusks, and disappearing of many, many other species. Accidents of water erosion, decreasing the soil fertility, and development of tiny. We have regression of mangrove, mangrove tree, and more difficult natural regeneration, degradation of water quality, solidification of a moon flat and increased mortality of mangrove, degradation of the living environment of a population and loss natural population, destruction of wildlife habitat. Now you see is a 
Many activities we are doing, for example, for our less with the population, we, is a, is with the Navy, we are here with the Navy to go to the sea for with, during the World Ocean Day and also the ocean, cetacean period. This we have some students here. They have some projects, some project we have, for example, to make a, a, our ZM identification. We work uh, EPSAS, we work in this uh, EPSAS position, for example, we have reports in this position. The main causes of uh, degradation for mangrove is, you see here, is mangrove tree they are used, they are using here the population to cook the salt is here and you see the salt here they are just supporting the sand where we are communicating with the, 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 the salt they are putting in some uh, like a basket and they put it in it and they retire the water and they are just cooking to have a salt here that's the problem is I have a, a negative impact on mangrove trees. We have also, we have oyster here. Oyster on the mangrove road here. And when the population, they are going there, they are just cutting. They should just collect oyster and they are just cutting and this have negative impact on, uh, on, uh, the, the, uh, on the mangrove. So the oyster is very important for our population, uh, for our population. For example, they are, they are using, they are selling here. They are going to sell and they are selling. If you come to Benin, you can see uh, uh, on the road uh, where they are selling in uh, 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 the road, they are selling to population they, they, in the road when they are moving, for example, they are, they are, they are selling for the population. Now I can say that uh, we have to our work we are doing, we are doing here, we expect that, that we have some, uh, uh, we have some internship, some collaboration with a lot of, with a lot of institute. For example, we have a lot of, with a lot of institute, for example, to have, a, a, a more program. We are working today with uh, GMS, pro, GMS program. We are we are working with them, and we have we have a lot of results in this uh, program. For example, then I think that uh, I just uh, have uh, a, I did finish with my presentation. If you have some question, I can I'm me available to answer to your question. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. I mean, um, as usual, I'm impressed with the breadth of uh, actions and projects and programs where Irab is, is, is involved. It's really, really interesting. Yeah. While we wait for some questions, I would like to ask you one specific thing. Do you have, I mean, all this data that you collect is this data shared with the international organizations? Uh, uh, how do we, let's say, uh, how do you say integrate your data in the regional models, both uh, both atmospheric, marine atmospheric, or also, I mean, coastal data with the coastal modeling? I think that till to now, we are not now in the international level, we are not sharing our data, we can say it like this. No, we have so network, for example, to ask a fish stock assessment, for example, we share the fish data to make assessment in, uh, in West Africa, for example, part with, with uh, FAO. In this, in, in this uh, 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 network, we share the data with all of the country involved in the fish stock assessment from uh, for example for example from congo to from congo for example to mauritania we are working together and mauritania and uh, senegal they are in the, the group of, uh, of the north the soft group we have from uh, uh, cote d'ivoire 
Côte d'Ivoire, Sénégal, Liberia, to, to Congo. To Congo, LDR Congo, and the, and the Republic of, of Congo and Gabon. And in this, uh, in this data, we are sharing the data we are collected and we make assessment for each country. And after that, we are going to uh, make a, 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 a report with if on the FO. We have this, uh, for example, we have next week, for example, we are going to keep that to do this work with FO. Uh -huh. And we are share, we sharing this data. And also, if we are in the network, for example, for uh, we have uh, this network with uh, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Togo, and Nigeria. We sharing with data easily with this uh, with this uh, 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 country. And also, if a student ask for us the data, for example, SSC data, the way data, or any data, we know that we ask them that if you were there, can you? They are going to use our data. They should make acknowledgement to our institute. Yes. They should make an acknowledgement to our institute to say that if what we have to, to know that our institute is collected in this data. It's what how we are sharing, we are sharing our data, we share with our students and all uh, research and some company that what we are sent for with a company, for example, who, who is asking with data. We ask them that they contribute to our data collecting, and they can they can give something because we cannot to maintain equipment equipment scientific equipment is very difficult, and when you are using equipment equipment is going uh, we are we are using equipment is for example is not working for example for a long time and you should change this equipment then we ask something is the company who is working to win the money for example for example and we ask something to them no we have a student we are not asking anything maybe maybe if a student have scholarship and in the scholarship he have already put in the budget that he's going to collect with data in this time we ask him to contribute to the data collect we are doing in our institute. Uh, thank you so much for your comprehensive questions. And we have two other questions here from Yara Novelli from Brazil and Natalia Ospina. But uh, I would like only to complement my question. You discussed that this data and this work you're doing with neighboring countries in terms of uh, fish stock assessment, what are the similarities and difference between the fish, uh, the fish stocks management in Benin and other neighboring countries? You mean the difference? Yeah, the difference and similarities. I mean, between uh, Benin, Togo, Nigeria, and other neighboring countries. You know, but for example, we are our neighbor country, Togo, Nigeria, Togo, Nigeria, Ghana, and Côte d'Ivoire, we have most of them, we have common species. Maybe in uh, Côte d'Ivoire, we can have more than uh, species, uh, uh, more than in uh, Benin, for example. No, we have, we have the same species in, in this uh, country, for example. Then when we are going to make a stock assess assessment, we know that how we, we can appreciate if we have over exploitation or limit exploitation or under exploitation. We are, to, we, are, we are taking some common species, for example, to do it. We can take, we can take for example, uh, autolite, pseudotolitis, for example. We take it and we make assessment in all country. And so in sometimes some, country ask a special, a special assessment according to the uh, 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 economic value in the country, for example. Then they can, they can ask to assess a special species for them, for example. And we are doing this together. together. And the similarity, similarity also is also we have country, for example, the stock asset, the stock this decreasing, the stock is decreasing. We have over expenses in general in our uh, fish stock, general. And 
fish size is decreasing also in all of our country. We notice that the fish length is decreasing. That is a, pro is a problem today. We have, we're facing also the problem of pollution, mainly the plastic, the plastic pollution is a very, is a very huge problem for us now. And on the FAO, for example, we, we have doing the common assess, assessment of uh, the marine debris in three countries, Benin, uh, Benin, Togo, Côte d'Ivoire, the four countries, Benin, Togo, Côte d'Ivoire, and Ghana. And we know that we know that we have some problem in each in all uh, our country. That is the problem now. And also with uh, the Pogo partnership of, uh, of our collaborator, our collaborator, for example, Pogo yes. partnership for, for global ocean observation. We have we we, we conduct one uh, project, for example, and we are working and is just to involve a young a young generation to collect, to give them research, research skill. And we go to the school, for example, and we, we with them, we are teach them how to collect data, to collect a, a, a little data. And after that, we, 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 we go to them in laboratory to, 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 to sort the data. And to sort the data, macro-pelagic, mesopelagic, we sort it. And now we have also a micro who is on the analysis now in Ghana, in Ghana, for example, in the laboratory, because we don't have a laboratory to analyze the microplastic. It's what we are doing in our whole country. Okay, thank you. So let's go to Yara Novelli. I, I, Yara Novelli, she's a very well-known researcher on mangroves in Brazil. And, yeah. uh, and she has a question is that she would like to ask you if you have publications about Benin's mangroves. Yes, exists a, a publication in, uh, uh, on uh, uh, mangroves, on Benin mangroves. Yeah. So, it, there's also some colleagues have it, have it also. Because so, with me, I'm a biology, a biologist, I'm working on species. But because I'm focusing more on the species and for fauna, for example, in uh, the fish under the mangrove and also the oyster and the biodiversity, because I'm working also in the marine biodiversity and coastal diversity. And we have some uh, publication on it. Uh, good. So maybe we could uh, later share these, these, uh, these, these. Uh, papers, these publications with uh, Yara. Uh, and Yara, she was, I mean, the main author of a, a beautiful book on Brazilian mangroves that I'm, I'm sure Yara will share with you as well. This is a wonderful book about all the mangroves in Brazil. She, okay. yeah, I think you'll really, really appreciate it. And I will connect you both after this meeting. Is that correct? So, uh, so moving forward to the next question, we have a next question. question. From yeah, the next yes, question. Have, Sorry, go on. Yes, the prefer one that I, I'm talking about the status of aquaculture in Benin. Yeah, aquaculture in Benin today is good. It just started moving ahead. Just that because we have some, we have some farmer from a, a farmer in the aquaculture. No, now we have some program. Who is who is going? Uh, who is going now? On the, for example, our government take to 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 make a complement because we have we have deficits on fish on already fish uh, uh, food. We already have a deficit, and our government said that the objective is to develop aquaculture to 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 complete the protein deficient in our country, for example. And in this phase, we are, they are going to uh, have awareness, they are going to implement, implement some, pro some projects on this uh, uh, for aquaculture. Now we have in the, our direction of, uh, of uh, 
uh, IoT production, for example, Japanese is there to make uh, the to help to to make a food a, a fish food, for example, and to disseminate this uh, project in all in the country from the south to the north now. And also, we just uh, read uh, yes, just yesterday, for example, we have uh, to evaluate because the government asked some uh, have some partners, national partners, to give some some project on fish feed. And we analyze when I, we analyze this uh, uh, document yesterday, and we retain some of them who can work in on fish because it's a very big challenge for fish feed. Because still to now, most of the fish, most of the uh, aquaculture farmer, they, they imported the, 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 the fish feed. That is this, and this, in this situation, the cost of the fish uh, farming is coming uh, expensive for the population. So now we, we, are, we, are, we are moving to, uh, to go to make some research on local, local products to make, to, to, to make uh, a fish feed now. And in this situation, we know that if we have some uh, some some uh, uh, some uh, components, local component to make to make a fish feed, the uh, the fish cost is is a begin uh, uh, starting to decrease. It should be cheaper for our population. That is the status today for the fish assessment in the aquaculture. Yeah, yeah. One additional question: It's 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 more freshwater fish, or you have also marine aquaculture? No, for till to now, we are not going to marine fresh of marine uh, aquaculture. It's just a continental aquaculture now. Okay. Yes. So going on on our questions and answers, we have a Mamadou Nian mm -hmm. uh, from the Tech at the. Uh, the technical assistant during the MESA program, and he has two questions. Yes. One is, uh, you said that women in Togo is used to the mangrove roots to collect the oysters, uh, which was the case in Senegal. But now the MPAs, the, the, the women use, they tell that they call guirlandes, where they attach, uh, where they attach the shells to attract, I mean, oysters that to avoid the roots. I mean, basically, for what I understood, they creating a system where they are, uh, let's say, farming the oysters, uh, not in the roots, but I mean, in in the middle of the man uh, in this structure. No, now, yeah, I said that of a woman in Togo and uh, use the use the technical to marrow uh, mangrove roots. Some is not so all of the women. They, they, they are cutting the, the, the roots. No. Some of them, they are just collected from the roots. No. You know that for to the facility, to cut facility for them, for example, they're just cutting the, and they remove it. And it's easier for them to collect, to collect very quickly. And our government, for example, forbid the ban that they are, they are cutting the mangrove tree. It's a law. And the, the women, then they are going there, they are making on the, they are, they are not, in secretly they are doing. It's not so, uh, with all, uh, uh, you know, with uh, uh, all people, they are not doing you know, uh, in view of the all the population. It's secretly they are, they are, they are, they are, they are doing. That, that is because, because of that, we know, we know that, uh, uh, we, know, we know that, this uh, oyster, for example, for example, some of them they are collected on the sun. They are collected on the sun for some of them. No, they are used also. They are used also mangrove tree to build and to cook salt. And they're going to to some of some of the women they are going to build sharpen of the the, the uh, of the home. For example, they are using. To, to, to build their home, for example. And government forbidden that they are not using because you have a degradation of, uh, of, of, the, of the mangrove. 
Yeah, yeah. Mamadou is asking if this experience has been shared with somebody or published uh, uh, before. Do you have any knowledge of this who has shared this experience? Experience for the, no. now, I, I have uh, one student, for example, who is working in on Oyster, for example, today, and we are we are now explaining that we, we have a technique to have some uh, we have they built we have built some specific uh, specific uh, container to uh, to to uh, grow the, the oyster for example today today then we sensitize with the, the women that they can use this we are just starting to experience and we, it's, it's concluded, we, can, we know that, for example, Jadio, Jadio from Senegal, he worked very well in this, in this uh, issue. And we are in contact with him to share the experience he, he, he used in his, his thesis. Yeah, thank you so much. We have another additional question from Bjorn Fiedler from Guillemar, Germany. And he's thanking you for this great overview presentation. And he would like to know which entities and programs are there uh, to facilitate coordination with of marine research in the region, not only fisheries, but also oceanographic research. And he's additionally asking if there is something like the Wyomsa in doing the Southern, Southern Eastern Africa to facilitate a change between institutions. Yes. I'm personally involved with in uh, many programs, for example, Ordin Africa, Yuk Africa, and uh, I'm in touch with uh, the uh, Wiyomsa program, for example. They have some, in a few days, they should have a, a, a conference. I was invite, invited to this conference. No, I don't have a time to go to, 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 go, to go there. And we are, uh, for with Geoma, for, ex for example, with Geoma, for example, we are working with Geoma not directly. Now through some program, for example, we have some students who is uh, studying now in uh, Cape Verde under Geoma funding, for, ex for example. And we have also, because in our country, we have uh, a, a, in uh, university, we have a, a physical oceanography department for example, and we have some and some students have a scholarship from their day, DAD, for example, to make the thesis and master degree for, for master degree, for example. And we have a exchange with, with institution is a very uh, is very easy. No, we, we, the main problem we have with institution in Africa is the problem of sharing data is a problem. Why is a, pro is a challenge? Is a challenge because the data we call, we are collecting also is most of the data we are collecting is under some program, some project. And the, the owner of this project who is funding, funding the project, for example, he said that don't share my data, my data because I'm the owner of the, of the data. If, if you don't have authorization, for this, with this, this partner, for example, we cannot charge his data. That is the difficulty. Difficult. If uh, our government today is their poor uh, finance data collected, that is the, that is a, pro a big problem. Now, I think that with a partner, with, with, with the program we the program we want to, for example, we, we conduct with Propao Network, for example. It is a, is a common program. And under this program, it's very easy to share the data between the, uh, the membership of this program. Because we are collecting data in Cote d'Ivoire, in Ghana, in Togo, in, Niger, in Nigeria, and it's very easy for us to share, to share data. And if we have, we, all, we have a publication with this data, for example, we can share it, no problem, no, no problem. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, oh, uh, we have a question from Milton Campa, a well, friend from, uh, from Brazil, from the National uh, Institute of Space Research. 
Milton Campbell is asking if, if you are using remote sensing data or satellite imagery in your main activities. If not, would you consider this possibility somehow useful? Yes, for the, we are using remote sensing, remote sensing data. No, it's satellite, satellite, satellite data we are using. For example, under the program, GMS Africa program the project, we are using most of such satellite data. We have, for example, in our country, we have a station, MESA station, for example, is collecting the data, we uh, are collecting uh, uh, sensor data in our in uh, our institute, for example. We are working with, uh, with we have some student who is working in master degree, in PhD degree, for example, who is using uh, remote sensing data and satellite data, imaging data they are, use, they are using. I say that with uh, our program uh, on the camera uh, uh, visualization of the coastal zone, for example, we need the sense, uh, satellite data to compare with that to and our national uh, data used to validate if we have some model in it that we are using it to validate the, the model, for example. Yeah, do, do you have any, I mean, I mean, of course you are involved on GIMES in Africa now in part two, which are the, the services products that have used more uh, from, from MESA, from, I, I mean, from uh, GIMES in Africa? What kind of EOS service and product? For service project, we are using for a, a GMS program. For example, we have we, GMS is doing, we have some product for sea surface temperature, for example, chlorophyll, chlorophyll data, chlorophyll a map, a chlorophyll map, a chlorophyll sea surface temperature and uh, uh, oxygen oxygen data, for, for, for example. And we have also the vessel, they are following the vessel, vessel, for example. If we have a vessel who is working, some vessel working uh, in our uh, trawler, for example, working in our, uh, our continental shift, they, they, they follow them with uh, the uh, VMS, for example, they are following, and they share this data with our, our all of our country, we share this, this, this data, and this data, for example, for example, if the, our country we give some license to some vessel, for example, for trawls or to some trawler, if this is a new trawler which does have a license, they are operate in our our continental shelf in our EEZ, we can. They ask if they have license. If not, we can uh, interrupt them and we can ask for them why what they are doing. And we inform the Navy, for example, with uh, the, the uh, Navy and the direction of, uh, of Fisher Office, and they can go to follow them to arrest them. We have some. We we have for shipper. Don't know. You don't know the shipper is a foundation. We help some some country in West Africa to to follow the piracy piracy boat piracy the, the, with our security and uh, zone uh, surveillance in our uh, our coastal area. And we have if we have that we have this uh, data for example. And also we have some with GMS we have also some. A, a, a skill on uh, to follow to inform the population, fisher mainly the fishermen population on the state of the ocean, and they have they can have this uh, uh, information on the Android, for example. And we have we we now can, we can move to to pay for US the USD uh, USD codes. We can make it, it, it. We can make them easier to connect. If they don't have some some fishermen, they don't. If they don't have Android, they can they can consult the weather data in the on the uh, telephone uh, mobile te telephone. 
Okay, great. This uh, really lots of projects and and programs going on. We still uh, we still have a, about six minutes. We have two questions, and then I'll go back again to one of your uh, uh, slides about mangroves. But first, I'm uh, Agu Christian, uh, Christian Agu from uh, Air Center Nigeria, he wants to get in touch with you. So I will put you in contact with him through email. I hope you can. Uh, explore ways of collaboration because he wants to replicate some of your projects in Nigeria. And I hope vice versa, because I mean, there's a lot of good examples of projects in, in Nigeria. And uh, another question now, it's, uh, it's related to boiling the water to get salt. I mean, it's again Mamadou Nyani, and he, he says that when he was working in Sierra Leone for Wetlands International, the same problem happened over there. So, and, uh, and he believes that from Senegal to Benin, the latitude, I mean, could help. I mean, the dryness of the heart would help not to, let's say, burn the water to get south. Do you have any comments on that? Because this new, let's say, using new met methods to extract Salt could help a lot, I mean, to preserve the mangroves on Benin. Do you have comments on that? Yes, I know that uh, uh, I know the project uh, about uh, Nyan talk about. I know this project that uh, in Sierra Leone, they have, uh, they have this project. And also in Benin, we have some project, for example, with another institution, who is using uh, the he using to dry with uh, with the sun with to dry the water and for with evaporation we have they have a, 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 a we have they have a, a salt no most of them they our population they are attached to their uh, habits for example. There, there is very different, difficult to them when in the period when you teach them to some, we have some many projects in this uh, issue. Now, when the, the bus, for example, to drive the salt, when you finish with the project, they return back to their old habits. That is, that is the problem. They return, when the project ends, they are going, they are going back they start, they, they start to using the old practice they have. That is the main, that is the main problem because they are not changing their mind. They are not changing very well their mind. I think that we have to go, to go ahead to, to convert them to have a new practice. I think that we, we can teach them a lot for a long period. And after that, we have some uh, pressure, for example, political pressure on them, then they should, they should go next side to this. If not, we, we cannot have a good result because they are destroying mangrove tree. They are destroying mangrove tree. That is a very a, a, a huge problem. That is what I can say about this, uh, this uh, problem. I know very well uh, this project with uh, Abidjan Convention. I, I, I know this pro about this project. And we have uh, many let ago, we have this uh, project with uh, some uh, uh, project to drive. To, to make, to, to succeed, for example, to, to succeed uh, this, uh, 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 Issue, for example, to we should go to, when we teach them for a certain period, we can go to to sanction. We can go to sanction, and to give a penalty. A really penalty because we have in our law, for example, we have penalty. They say that we, if you destroy the mangrove tree, you should pay some amount and some something. Some. No, really, in practice, yeah, we are not. Use it in power, for example. That is a that is a challenge for our country. 
Yeah. So basically, what you are saying that you are mixing, let's say, awareness and uh, environmental education, but it still needs some, uh, some let's say, some rules and norms and like uh, to to make people really to comply. And but this also needs the enforcement of the laws and the rules. Sometimes this is difficult. Yes, of course. Yeah. Of, co of course. Well, the law is there. No, they are not. Uh, they are not really apply the, 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 the law. Because you know, is the politics is the politic also pressure pressure. For example, if they are going to have a politician with an election, for example, if we have a period of election, the politician they don't know, don't you cannot go like <laughs> this. We are going to see that is a that is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very a big problem in our in our in our in our country. Not only in Benin, no. I know that yeah. in some countries. Uh, this also. is everywhere. Yes, yes. <laughs> SARS is this problem, for example. Yeah. So, I mean, we are already one minute after the hour, hour, but I have one final question here. You know, I'm an enthusiast of mangroves. So you said that in the, there are a lot of uh, uh, anthropogenic pressure on mangroves right now, mostly related to cutting, overfishing. The mangroves are degrading. Uh, in uh, in Benin, my question is the final question: Is do you have any uh, local programs uh, that I mean, uh, uh, trying to grow the not only to pre preserve but also to restore and maybe grow the areas of mangrove forest? Yes, we have some program uh, program with uh, NGO, for example, and we have national program station. Deforestation for mangrove. They are doing a lot, a lot. But the problem is monitoring. That is the problem. When you go make a pipina of mangrove, for example, we should follow how it's growing. Challenge. That's a big challenge. There are yeah. most of a lot of NGO in our country who is following this data. They, are, they, are, they make alerts to the population, alerts to uh, uh, the government that they preserve mangrove, mangrove tree. That's the, the most of all NGOs who is working in a, a mangrove area, a coastal area. They are usually make awareness to, to not say that, that you should preserve the mangrove. They will have some program of is, uh, for instance, the mangrove, the mangrove tree, it comes most of a lot of program that is, is issue. Okay, so thank you so much for these very interactive sessions. We had a lot of questions, a lot of, I mean, it was very interesting because we had more than half an hour of discussions. I'm sure we could stay there for another half an hour because I mean, being with you and learning a lot of Benin, it's always very interesting. So I thank you so much. I thank for the audience. This video will be available. The recording will be available on our YouTube uh, channel. I also put you in contact with Dr. Soho. And um, I hope you'll see you soon in, in Accra. So thank you a lot for your presentation. Uh, for me to, to, to share what we are doing in uh, our institute, and what we are doing in our in our in our country. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to share in this uh, some experience in our in our country. I think that we have we can, we have already a network, so we can some of the uh, for the people who attend this uh, this uh, webinar. I think that we can we can have a collaboration to, to, move, to move ahead. Thank you very much.